It's the election time. It's the last push towards the day of, or the, today is the last day before the elections here in Great Britain. The academia has spoken, the media has spoken. They have done their own spin-off words to convince the party that they wish to be supporting. Is it an election by a vote or is it a selection by academia and media by giving you the words that you wish to hear? If I sincerely work for the people that I care, take for example your family. When you speak to your child, would you tell the words that the child wishes to hear? Or would you speak the words that he or she, the child, doesn't want to hear? You will only speak the words that your child wishes to hear so that you don't upset or you don't make them cry or you don't make them feel upset or saddened by your words or your action. And it is exactly the same with your politicians or so-called the people that you look up like your God. You wouldn't upset him, would you? The God that you are asking every day, please help me, God. I will do everything in the right mind to what I know. Yet the surrounding influence is distracting you to do completely the opposite. So on a Sunday, you would go to the church or to the temple or to the place of worship and say, Oh God, I've done something wrong again. Please forgive me. You don't have that choice in an election. You give your voice on a vote and that is for four or five years here in Britain. It's a five year term out in America, which will be very soon. It's a four year term. The people you put in power is not because that you want something better for your life that you couldn't get from somewhere else up above. You put them in there because they convince you with the words that you wanted to hear. But it is not the reality. The existential reality is remotely possible. The way we have laid out the society, how we have constructed our society, our governments, the way we work, none of us are sincerely working for the betterment of the other. The politicians that you call, they get a salary, just like you would go to work for a salary first to feed your own hungry stomach, the burning fire of the hunger. Yet we blame on inflation, that flation, this flation. Everybody is sitting candy crushing on their phone, on an app on a smart device, consuming their energies, confused with the words that are coming out of a smart device. We call smart device only because we condemned ourselves not to be intelligent enough for a something plasticky, metally corrosive, when I say the, the components used inside the smart device is more corrosive when you expose them. But the words and the images that are coming out of these phones, once they get disposed of, are even more corrosive to the environment. But the words that are coming out live right now to convince you to believe in somebody else's idea is going to work with whatever has been working for right at this moment in time. 
everything that has worked is going to get completely differently altered and adjusted only through practicality you can see the results and that's why the science and technology are the only way forward for humanity to find solutions to human problems they're not Tory problems, they're not labor problems, they are not democratic problems, they are not socialist problems, there are no black problems, there are no Indian problems, there are no Chinese problems, there are no African problems, there are no gay problems, there are no straight problems, there are no women's problems, there are no children problems, there are no men problems, there are no infant problems, there are no elderly age problems, there are all human problems that we have created ourselves to burden ourselves with complex ways of creating problems is the human way of life. Have you not got this in your head? The politicians, our career, determine aspired, self-inspired, career achievers you are looking up for some help in a confusing and more complex and more intolerable situations that we have created as human beings when we have a situation truly that no one has ever encountered in life. For example, what we went through for the last three years, everybody panicked because it's something not in your understanding. It's not something that you have ever experienced. But yet, none of those situations panicked you but focusing in what is really necessary, the times. To come out of without getting entangled in those problems. So the time is now. I'm no academic. I'm no educated. I'm just a simple idiot. You may love what I'm saying. You may relate to in your own interpretation of experience of life, that is. The words that I've spoken is simple. They are simply explained in a given situation where you could either be wounded or you could be victorious. You could be vice or you could be wounded. Every situation, there's two opportunities. Are you joyful or are you miserable? If you're miserable, you will create a problem above, multiply the problems. If you're joyful and you're willing, you're willing to do what is necessary to find a solution that works, not just for you, but as a consequence that has a, a wonderful impression and an experience for the others around you, that you never become the problem in a situation. You became the solution. None of our politicians None of our leaders who aspire for their own interest have no interest in seeing you progress. If you see somebody else is progressing, the politics are just that. They're condemning each other's policies and projects that are benefiting the humanity or benefiting the nation. A small landmass that can be managed through a selected process or an elective process, or is it a selective process or an elective process? It seems these days, so-called democracies are a selective process. They're calling it 100 years. Somebody has been voting for one party. Now it's going to change. All these are ways to confuse you, to getting in to the words that you wish to hear to convince you for one group of people to come into power and then continue. 
it is a sad reality. It's a single vote that counts. It is your voice that should count. It is down to you as to how you make up your mind. No politician, no theologian, no academic should determine how you and how your mind operates. And the words that you hear may convince you, but are there the real existential meaning for your own life? Has that served a benefit for you, for your immediate family, for the people who depend on you? Will it serve a purpose for your existential life that you live here. Times are changing. Those times for you to make the change. The first thing is for you to know the true reality from the fiction, the movies, the exaggeration, the unreal surroundings, the societal constructs. None of them should determine the way you live, the way you act and behave in an election campaign that have been carried out, trying to convince individuals and groups of people and families to give their vote for a certain party because you heard the words that you want to hear. Everybody wishes to hear the words that one wants to hear because it doesn't upset. What does that mean? It simply means that I am speaking only because I wanted to achieve my own life, God-given aspirations to become the prime minister or minister or the leader of a certain community but I don't want to tell you the true realities of what is surrounding us what is possible to be able to deliver in the real circumstances with the given tools that we have in our hands the Thursday will determine our future of this land and how we're going to face going forward in our own lives. Wish you all the best in making the decision that is relevant for your life to succeed like everyone wishes to see their lives succeed and progress to a betterment. Not just for you, but for everyone around you.